Did you know the first ever go-kart was created in Los Angeles in 1956 by a fabricator named Art Ingalls? He worked as a fabricator for a well-known manufacturer of Indy 500 race cars and cobbled together a small tube frame cart powered by a two-cycle lawnmower motor. He showed off his contraption to friends in a local parking lot, inspiring his buddies to build their own machines, and soon Ingalls and his friends were holding impromptu races in the Rose Bowl parking lot in California. A couple years later, the first ever kart racing track was built. Interesting fact, the term go-kart was coined by a muffler shop owner named Duffy Livingston. He began manufacturing and selling the machines under the name go-kart, the first official kart manufacturer. Duffy was credited with launching its popularity. Did you also know, go-kart engines are typically two-stroke engines which deliver serious power in a small package. They have lightning quick steering and no suspension, which means you can really feel the road. The tires eventually became wider and grippier, and because of the go-kart's low center of gravity, they are difficult to flip, making them very safe. Go-karting is one of the most popular and accessible motorsports today. Many professional superstar racers like Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher owe their careers to starting off with go-karting. Did you know that the Niagara Speedway on Clifton Hill in Niagara Falls is a world-class attraction? It's the first of its kind in North America, towering over 40 feet high. The course is spread over four acres and races up a four-story spiral, followed by a two-tiered coaster-style ramp that runs into another spiral. Though riders may feel like they're flying over a cliff at certain points during the ride, extensive safety features were built into the Niagara Speedway. The go-karts are equipped with a unique receiver, with its main control box located in the pit building, allowing the pit crew to stop all go-karts simultaneously with the press of a button. Its own independent frequency allows it to stop the engine safely and effectively fix spin-outs on the track. There are two bays in the pit building, each with 36 go-karts. While one race is going on the track, the pit crew is busy belting up the next set of 36 racers. This is the most efficient way since there is always a race in session, resulting in less wait time for customers. The go-karts are two-seaters to offer family fun racing. Parents, guardians, and drivers over 18 years old are able to carry passengers safely with the maximum track speed of 32 kilometers an hour. Every go-kart has headlights and taillights for night racing fun, plus underbody lighting and a functional brake light for added safety. The Honda engines are 9 horsepower, requiring 91 octane fuel, and have upgraded clutches to handle the track elevation. Now, let's speed through some facts. The Niagara Speedway has over 2,000 linear feet of concrete racing surface. It contains approximately 300 tons of steel. It has over 16,764 individual components and 1,832 welded assemblies. Plus 19,100 individual welds. The track facility holds 25,000 liters of gas. The Niagara Speedway is the most unique and largest elevated track facility in North America. To sum it up, the Niagara Speedway is like go-karts on steroids. It combines the adrenaline-inducing thrill of go-kart racing with the remarkable experience of a roller coaster ride. Did you also know that the Niagara Speedway is open three seasons of the year? Spring, summer, and fall. Visit the Niagara Speedway today to experience a new generation of go-kart racing. Check out cliftonhill.com slash coupons for great deals.